Hi, I'm James Blackwell, Shaby Commercial Finance. It is Thursday the 24th of September in the afternoon and it's a couple of hours since Rishi Shunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, made announcements about continuing support to businesses in a post-Covid world. Um, a lot of them aren't really my remit, especially with regard to job retention schemes and slight extensions of furlough, um, which appear to be quite complicated and I suspect you'll probably need to talk to your accountant or HR specialist about. But the two things I do want to touch on um, are the government loan schemes. Clearly that's my area of expertise. And while the fine detail hasn't come out yet, there appears to be a couple of fundamental changes to the government loan schemes, of which the bounce back loan is the most dominant with 1.2 million lent, 1.2 million cases that is, um, around about 40 billion lent in total there and the Sybil's loan scheme on which was originally due to finish at the end of September it is now being extended along with the others until the end of the year so as applications will still be able to be received until the end of the year at this moment in time so a bit of an extension there how many of those are still going on I think as I've said in previous videos that a lot of people will look to replace bounce back loans with Sybil's and borrow a bit extra I certainly have a couple of those on my desk at this moment in time and the other thing is the government guarantee um, is looking to be extended from a five year period or six year period to include the years worth of them making the repayments if you like to a ten year period um, the idea with that presumably is to keep repayments down so if you took out a £50,000 bounce back loan over a maximum of five years of capital repayment then your repayments are around about 800 odd quid a month um, that's still a lot of money so I guess the feeling is by increasing it to 10 years reduce the payments to 400 pounds it'll be more manageable and it'll prevent less problems when the first payments come due in the middle of next year how that's going to be rolled out I'm not entirely sure because over a million loan agreements have been electronically signed for the bounce back loan and it's not simple as just changing it to a 10 year term some people might like it over five years um, so I'm not quite sure how they're going to do that. We will presumably find out in the next week or so. Um, this is a process that can take months to roll out. People don't have to make decisions now, I guess. So it may be something that happens over a period of time. But they're the two fundamental changes to the loan schemes as far as I can see. Both of them are designed to allow more funds to be accessed. And when those funds are accessed, allow the time period to be longer. So therefore, the loans are more affordable on a monthly basis. The other thing um, Sunak um, indicated was a new loan scheme would be coming out in 2021. We don't know any more than that now, but it's probably another way of stopping me earning money um, while having to give a lot of free advice. But that seemed to be the way it is the last six months, and so I'm happy to continue to do so. As soon as there are any more announcements about that, I promise to put it out there, because I dare say it will be a very significant product for myself and for small business owners to know about going forward. So that's all we know for now. I'll update everyone as and when. Right, best luck, guys. Bye.